OK, so I've been asked to do a virtual open evening and talk about reasons why you might think that choosing computer science is a good idea. OK, so my first question to you is, do you like any of those things that are showing up on screen? Are you a creative person? Do you enjoy programming? OK, are you very logical or do you like logic problems? Um, do you like maths? Um, you know, because it's a good subject for all those maths fans. Uh, problem solving. Is that one of your that's one of my favourite hobbies? I actually do quite a lot of problem solving. It's what help uh, play a lot of games and problem solving is a massive aspect of a lot of the games that I play. Uh, are you interested in hacking? Maybe uh, hopefully white hat hacking and understanding the difference between how hacking can be a criminal thing, but also how hacking is going to be really important in terms of the future of the country's cyber security as well and understanding what it is so we can then create uh, defensive um, you know, ways of defending ourselves against that. Are you just really interested in technology and want to know more about how it works? Um, are you a big fan of the internet or do you understand the importance of the internet and think actually maybe it's a good idea to understand a bit more about that? Well, if so, computer science might be for you, okay? So computers are changing every part of our lives all the time. And the industry itself is just evolving quicker and quicker and quicker every year. Um, even now, look at the situation that we're in with the pandemic. We're relying on computer science more than we've ever relied on it in the past. OK, and look at the ways we've been able to communicate and stay together as a community, as a school community, because of the wonders of computer science. OK, now through doing computer science, you will then be able to experience what it takes to make new software. OK, you'll understand more about hackers and how to how they attack computers and how we can build um, programs that can defend themselves against those kinds of attacks. We discover more in-depth knowledge on how computers work and we look at lots of logic problems as well and, and understand um, their importance within the computer science. Now, when we talk about the computer itself, we're looking at CPU design and actually what you're going to see through this, th this thread is how important computer science is to the UK industry and, and therefore how many jobs are available for somebody who's got uh, an understanding of computer science and has potentially studied it at A-level and maybe on into university. Uh, so the brain of the computer. Now, the UK is one of the world leaders in CPU design, OK? Um, now, current CPUs in iPhones, um, you may have heard of ARM chips. These are all made and based, uh, the company's based in Cambridge in the UK. So you're the person who maybe is interested in technology and wants to be working in those, uh, in the future of development of our technology and the next set of improvements. Uh, what about drones? Drones are already in use of filmmaking uh, and the use of search and rescue and surveying, but in the future, and I believe that this has already been experimented with, but we're using them for deliveries now, okay? They all need programmers to tell their um, deliveries where to go to, to manage these drones, to work with these drones, and you know, you could be a part of that future. And what about robotics? It's one of the, I think if I went back into computer science now, this is an area I'd be really interested in. OK, we're finding more and more use for robots. Now, at the minute, the car industry, most cars are, are built almost entirely by robots. OK, because they, they can perform repetitive tasks really well. But what about the future? What about robotic vacuums in the home? OK, we've already got robotic lawnmowers as well. What about um, clearing mines in war zones, but sending basically robots into um, areas that just aren't safe for human beings? So would you be interested in programming robots? Uh, to help deliver that. And the area that I'm most interested in is how robots start to become a part of the human bodies. So if you went and studied at Manchester University, for instance, they do a lot of biology and computer science because of the idea of artificial limbs. And they've even like got artificial, uh, even with 3D printing, some of these things as well. Um, you know, they're working on robotics in many different ways. OK, and that integration of humans and robots could be something that's Really interesting to see how that pans out in the future. Uh, what about the World Wide Web? Okay, invented by a British scientist, Tim Berners-Lee, in 1989. Okay, uh, more than four billion people are now using it, but believe it or not, that's not everyone in the world yet. Over 45 billion web pages um, have been written, and every British business needs people who can understand how computing can work and help them um, on the internet. Um, what about uh, the next one? Uh, what about game changing e-commerce? Shopping has transformed since the web was invented. Um, online shopping is now worth one trillion in 2014, and it's predicted to be worth 3.7 trillion by 2021. 
Do you want to know how that works? I think computer science might be for you. Augmented reality is a massive technology just popping up, showing something to your camera and then being able to interact with it in whole new ways. Uh, entrepreneurs, startups, it, you know, think about Snapchat and what that did to big businesses and how within four years that software is now sending six billion videos per day. OK, uh, big companies are, are, have got major stakes in the UK. OK, so there I've got listed the top five technology companies and they're always looking for bright new talent. Um, and then there's a massive strong games industry in the UK as well. So uh, games such as like Grand Theft Auto developed in Edinburgh. Um, Elite Dangerous in Cambridge. Candy Crush was made in London. Batman Arkham, uh, Batman Arkham was made in London. OK, Sonic Forces were made in Leamington Spa. And Burnout Paradise was made in Guildford. So there's a massive games industry here as well. So if you think this is a subject for you, this is the kind of things that you need to be thinking about. So at ASNA level, you need to be aiming to get a grade seven or above in your maths, ideally. OK, if, you, if you're on a grade five or six, then we'll have a conversation and you might still be able to do it depending on how you do in other subjects. But that's what you should really be pushing for in your math subjects. OK, and if you're doing computer science, I'd be expected to push for sixes and sevens as well. Um, paper one and paper two is a 50-50 split. Paper one focuses on your programming abilities and understanding of problem solving and, and some of the theories of computation. And paper two then focuses on some of the other fundamental ideas like how computer systems work, how networking works, okay, consequences of using computers. So you get that moral understanding as well. Moving into second year, you'll see the two papers are still the same, but the amount of knowledge goes up a little bit. So the programming gets a little bit harder. Um, and we learn more complicated areas of programming. And then in paper two, the, some of the theory elements get expanded and there's a couple of new ones like big data, like understanding how things like Snapchat and Twitter work and all that data that exists on the internet and how we can use it, how we can filter it and how it gets used by big businesses. Um, something worth pointing out as well, so paper two is a paper, an exam paper, um, but paper one is actually a, a computer based exam where you'll be expected to be writing code during the exam situation and uh, you'll be learning some software, co uh, some code called C sharp, which gives us the ability to make apps, games and do our typical problem solving activities as well. And then during year 12, but it's assessed officially in year 13, uh, you will do your own non examined assessment. Now, this is where you will actually get to write your own computer program. Um, and ideally, you'll be thinking about that as a, for a client. Now, a client could be just an end user. So there's actually an opportunity here to do games design and start to make a um, games engine. There's an opportunity to do simulations of problems. So um, in geography, for instance, if you study geography, you might want to do a simulation on a computer that shows how the population of rabbits will increase or decrease depending on how much food is in an area or how many predators such as foxes are in that area. OK, so some real interesting piece of software that you'll get to make or you can get to make uh, an app for, for a phone or for a computer. Um, it's entirely up to you what you want to do in that project, but you will get guidance from your computer science teachers in terms of what would be most suitable and what level you're working at and how you can do that project. Uh, and my year 12s have just started that now and they're finding that really interesting. All right. So, <clears throat> so that's an overview of computer science. Um, feel free to email me if you have any other questions or if you want to phone up and have a chat one to one about you, whether you think you should do it. Um, but it is a very interesting A level. It is a hard A level, I'm not going to lie to you. You do need to be um, really focused and dedicated to computer science to do it. It's not just something you can maybe have half interested in. Um, so think very carefully and get in touch if you're interested. All right. Thank you very much.